begin our thanksgiving in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us lift up to God our thanksgiving for the gift of this new day. Let us also lift up to the Lord our prayers for ourselves, for our families, and for all those who are asking for our prayers. We especially pray for the repose of the soul of our former president, Noinoy Aquino. Let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. We humbly say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God the Almighty. Walk in my presence and be blameless. God also said to Abraham, On your part, you and your descendants after you must keep my covenant throughout the ages. This is my covenant with you and your descendants after you that you must keep. Every male among you shall be circumcised. God further said to Abraham, As for your wife Sarai, do not call her Sarai. Her name shall be Sarah. I will bless her and I will give you a son by her. Him also will I bless. He shall give rise to nations, and rulers of peoples shall issue from him. Abraham prostrated himself and laughed as he said to himself, Can a child be born to a man who is hundred years old? Or can Sarah give birth at ninety? Then Abraham said to God, Let but Ishmael live on by your favor. God replied, Nevertheless, your wife Sarah is to bear you a son, and you shall call him Isaac. I will maintain my covenant with him as an everlasting pact to be his God and the God of his descendants after him. As for Ishmael, I am heeding you. I hereby bless him. I will make him fertile and will multiply him exceedingly. He shall become the father of twelve chieftains, and I will make of him a great nation. But my covenant I will maintain with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear to you by this time next year. When he had finished speaking with him, 
God departed from Abraham. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. See how the Lord blesses those who fear Him. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in His ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. See how the Lord blessed those to fear Him. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home. Your children like olive plants around your table. See how the Lord blessed those to fear Him. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. See how the Lord blessed those to fear Him. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus came down from the mountains, great crowds followed him. And then a leper approached, did him homage, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. He stretched out his hand touched him and said, I will do it. Be made clean. His leprosy was cleansed immediately. Then Jesus said to him, See that you tell no one, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, brothers and sisters. And good morning also to our brothers and sisters joining us in our live streaming. May the presence and healing of Jesus be with all of you wherever you are. So many people are asking for uh, prayers especially for healing. Lalo na ngayong mga panahon na to, dami-daming nagdadasal para sa kagalingan ng mga may sakit. So we especially pray for all those who are sick. During Jesus' time, isa sa mga kinakatakutan na sakit ay ketong, leprosy, or Hansen's disease, as it is called now. It was a dreaded disease in the ancient world. Noong mga unang panahon. Reason? Because it was incurable and highly contagious. The, the traditional Jewish law, it's the Levitical rule, forbids touching lepers. So may mga batas din sila tungkol sa may sakit noon. Lalo na yung may ketong. Bawal hawakan. And this rule, this law, quarantined lepers from the society, quarantined lepers from the community. Hiniwalay din sila ng batas doon sa community. 
bawal din silang lumabas. The leper is uh, the leper is considered as a kind of a dead man walking. The law specified also that a leper had to keep a distance. So, may physical distancing then. Nasa batas din yun. The leper had to keep a distance of two meters from other people. And to some, it had to be 50 meters. At that time, no leper would ever have approached a rabbi. But because, you see, because of the faith and trust of the leper, he approaches a rabbi, Jesus. He approaches Jesus for help. And Jesus cured him by touching him. Touching a leper is looked upon with fright and hatred by the medical and religious authorities in Jesus' time. But this Jesus' touch healed the leper's disease and also healed his sense of isolation. The touch of Jesus also healed his sense of loneliness, despair, and his belief that he was cursed by God. In this gospel episode, we have two teachers. The first teacher is Jesus. The second teacher is the leper. What does Jesus teach today? Very simply, it is this. Our Lord Jesus says, it is not enough to love from a distance. With Jesus, there is no such thing as long-distance love relationship. He wanted to show his love for the leper and he did not say, Leper, I love you one kilometer away. He went close to the leper, touched the leper, and Jesus said, I do will it be healed. For Jesus, there is no such thing as loving from a distance. That is why we have the Eucharist. The Eucharist is an expression of love, of the love of Jesus. Natatanggap, nahahawakan, nakikita, naririyan. In the same way that the Lord teaches us with His actions, he also shows His love for us by coming down from heaven, taking human flesh, and living in our midst. And so we ask today, who are the people we love? Sino ba yung mga taong sinasabi natin na mahal natin? We say we love them, but are we willing to spend time with them? Are we willing to break that distance that set us apart? Are we willing to destroy the walls that separate us from those we love? Especially tayo mga Kristiyano. Oh, I love the poor. I love uh, those who are suffering. Pero nilalapitan ba natin sila talaga? Or at least, do we really reach out to them? It is not enough to love from a distance. We must love at close range and show it. For now, it may not be really physically close because we are in the pandemic. But at least, do we really reach out to them? Remember, Closeness is not only about being together physically.
what does the leper teach us? The leper teaches us that it is not right to keep quiet when we are suffering. The leper was suffering and by law, he must keep quiet. He must only talk when people approach in order to warn people. He was supposed to shout out, unclean, unclean. So the people would not approach him. This leper was suffering not only from leprosy, but even more from isolation. He was a person in need and he did not just suffer quietly like an oyster who closes in. Instead, he shouted out and said, Lord, heal me. Lord, heal me. I am suffering. I am sure we all know what suffering is. And we all know what secret suffering is. We all know what suffering is and we all know the pain of suffering in silence. Not wanting to share it with other people who are actually ready to carry out sufferings for us and with us. The leper teaches us today, it is not necessary to suffer in silence. We have Jesus. And Jesus teaches us today, it is not enough to love from a distance. Reach out. May our hands become the hands of Jesus. May we all become healers not only of body, but also of hearts and souls. Like the leper in the gospel who cried out for healing, we now approach our Heavenly Father with confidence that our prayers will be answered. And we will say, Lord, restore us with your grace. Lord, restore us with your grace. That the church may never fail in its duty of welcoming the marginalized and those excluded from society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord restore, restore us with your, your grace. grace. That the Lord may guide those involved in medical research in finding remedies for incurable diseases. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord restore, restore us with your grace. That our community may reach out with love and care to people ignored by society. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord restore, restore us with, with your grace. grace. That the sick, the deprived, and the lonely may find support from their Christian brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord restore, restore us, us with your grace. grace. That those, that our brothers and sisters who are afflicted of COVID-19, as well as those who are under monitoring and observation, be healed by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord restore, restore us with your, your grace. grace. That the frontliners and the many faceless heroes who risk their lives to combat COVID-19 be protected and strengthened by our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, restore us with your grace. That those who have died in Christ, especially the souls of Raul, Chudora, Tomas, Socorro, Jose, Vicente, Vicenta, Asuncion, Vicente, Bonifacio, 
Eladen, Rosita, Marcelo Jr., Brother Rudy SSS, Elmer, Floripes, Innocencio, Julio, Concepcion, Maria Blanca, Iraclio, Vinancio Sr., Pearly, Francisco, Laudimir, Domingo, Alfredo, Estela, Maria Elena, Eugenia, Dorivic, Norma, Felito, Desiderio Sr., Regina, Vicente, Desdemona, Marta, John, Jose, Diana, Ariel Anthony, Asuncion, Kong Chun, Virginia, Elizabeth, Dennis, Abigail, Manny, Howard, Felicitas, Jose Raul, Jose, Milagros, El Defonso, and all souls in purgatory may be received in the Lord's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, restore us with your grace. Healing and fast recovery of Francis Ong, Emilita del Rosario. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, restore us with your grace. Special intention of Elson and, and family. Elsa Agno and family and Allison and Rosemary Calio. God, our Father, your gifts of healing and peace encourage us in our prayers. Grant what we seek in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, 
so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we proclaim your glory as with one voice we acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like a twofold, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever 
and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please kneel for the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. All together, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud, pray for us. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please kneel for the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. Let us now begin our morning prayer. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine. All praise and all thanksgiving be every moment time. Blessed be the holy and immaculate conception of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Prayer to Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament. Blessed are you, Mary, exalted daughter of Zion. You are highly favored and full of grace, for the Spirit of God descended upon you. We magnify the Lord and rejoice with you for the gift of the Word made flesh, our bread of life and cup of joy, our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament, our model of prayer in the synagogue, 
pray for us that we may become what we receive, the body of Christ, your Son. Amen. Our Lady of the Most Blessed Sacrament, pray for us. Prayer in honor of St. Joseph. O Lord, may the merits of the spouse of your most holy mother assist us, so that what we cannot obtain through our own efforts, we may have to reach intercession. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Prayer in honor of Saint Peter, Julian, Amar. Gracious God of our ancestors, you led Peter, Julian, Amar, like Jacob in times past on the journey of faith, under the guidance of your gentle spirit. Peter, Julian, discovered the gift of love in the Eucharist, which your son Jesus offered for the hunger of humanity. Grant that we may celebrate this mystery worthily, adore it profoundly, and proclaim it prophetically for your greater glory. Amen. St. Peter Julian Amar, the Apostle of the Eucharist, pray for us. Prayer for the cause of Venerable Father Ludovico Longari. O Lord, you have called the Venerable Father Ludovico Longari to be a fervent adorer and passionate Apostle of the Eucharist. Grant that your glory be manifested in him, and by the same grace through his intercession, we invoke with confidence. O Mary, so honored by Father Ludovico as Immaculate, sustain our prayer. Venerable Father Ludovico Longari, intercede for us. On page two of the booklets, we will be using hymn number 132, Holy, Holy, Holy. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning our song shall rise to Thee. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. Holy, 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 all the saints adore thee. Though the eye of sinful man thy glory may not see. Only Thou art holy, there is none beside Thee, which were and are and evermore shall be. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, all thy work shall praise thy name in earth and sky and sea. Holy, 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 merciful and mighty, God in three persons, blessed Trinity. On page 60, Friday morning prayer. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy in me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt. And cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. 
My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O sin, guilt, I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness. That the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face. And bled out all my heal. A pure heart great for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence. Nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your hell. With a spirit of purple sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit. A humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice. Holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Some prayer. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Rejoice, Jerusalem. For through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be revealed in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who were captives, all who were ravaged. May he cherish within you for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the inhabitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gift or the King of heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then rejoice over the children of the righteous who shall be gathered together and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you and happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King.
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoar frost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob. To Israel is loss and decrease. He has not dealt us with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. All-powerful God, it is through your church, generously endowed with gifts of grace and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Threaten your church with the best of all food and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply its children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love at the altar on high. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Knowing that a man is not justified by legal observance, but by faith in Jesus Christ, we too have believed in him in order to be justified by faith in Christ, not by the observance of the law. For the works of the law, no one will be justified. It was through the law that I died to the law, to live for God. I have been crucified with Christ, and the life I live now is not my own. Christ is living in me. I still live my human life, but it is a life of faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In it I shall cry out to Him. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In it I shall cry out to Him. May He send His strength to rescue me. In need I shall cry out to Him. Glory to the Father and to the Son 
and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord the Most High has done good things for me. In need I shall cry out to Him. Through the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, the pro he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight. All the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. To shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We trust in God's concern for every person He has created and redeemed through His Son. Let us therefore renew our prayer to Him. Fulfill the good work You have begun us, Lord. O God of mercy, guide us towards spiritual growth. Fill our minds with the thoughts of truth, justice, and love. For Your name's sake, do not abandon us forever. And do not annul Your covenant. Accept us for our hearts are humble and our spirits contrite. And those who trust in you shall not be put to shame. You have called us to a prophetic vocation in Christ. Help us proclaim your mighty deeds. We remember in our morning prayers our intentions for our families, our friends, our benefactors, and all those who are asking for our prayers. We pray for all those who are celebrating their gift of life today. We continue to pray for the end of this pandemic, for the well-being and safety of all the frontliners, for the safety of all travelers. We pray for all those who are seeking employment. Pray for the intentions of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, the intentions of our Archbishop, Romulo Valles. We pray for the success of the vaccination programs all over the world. We pray for the souls of all those who have died, especially of our former President, Simeon Benigno Aquino III. We pray for all those who are sick, especially those in the hospital and those who cannot afford to be in hospital. Let us make our prayers complete as we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, fill our hearts with your love as morning fills the sky. By living your law, may we have your peace in this life and endless joy in the life to come. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Please kneel for the blessing. Our morning prayer has been offered. Let us bless the Lord. And give Him thanks.